Hello, Daisy. How are you doing? Hello. I'm fine. Okay, nice. <laughs> That's nice. Today we have a lot to do because we are finishing unit two. Yeah. I'm always glad when we finish a unit. Yeah. Because it means that we are going forward, right? We are moving <laughs> forward. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. I really love that. I see people is texting. People are texting here. Wait, 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 just one second. Mm -hmm. Okay, I see Pablo here. Okay, David, good. Hello, David, how are you doing? Okay, I see everybody's. Are you ready with your presentations? Great. I've got this trouble with this uh, wall because my computer, my laptop, uh, you see, <laughs> when my, when the screen or the top, right, uh, touches the wall, then it got disconnected. Maybe it's the flex, I, I don't know, I don't know. Something's happening. Uh, maybe I will do something to <laughs> embellish, to embellish my, my <laughs> computer these days, maybe on the weekend, yeah. You know, it's money, that is why it's an investment, right? So yeah. that's why we have to wait for the best time, <laughs> for the best opportunity, yeah. So, yeah, because if you see, we're just like, uh, okay, <laughs> two plus two, right? <laughs> yeah, you're right. Hello, Grecia. How are you doing? Are you okay tonight? How do you feel tonight? Hello. Do you feel better? Ya se siente no. mejor, Grecia. ¿Cómo le ha ido? Ay, bien. Ahorita ya para la casa. Okay. Gracias, Diego. Okay, okay. Hope to see you there then. Okay, one moment. Something's happening with my flex tonight. Yeah. Oh, always a new thing, right? With all things, you have new things every time. <laughs> okay, hello everyone and welcome. Hello, Delmi, how are you doing? Welcome, Pablo. I know you're working at this moment, but uh, when you uh, have a little time, then you can uh, participate. Okay, Pablo. Hello, Patricia. Good evening. Hello, Alba. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Hello. Good evening. I'm, good evening. I'm so glad to see you here because tonight I was talking to Daisy a moment ago and we were saying that it's so um, exciting to get to the, to the end of each unit. Yeah, it's really exciting. ¿No sienten bien rico cuando ya vamos terminando la unidad? ¡Ey, chévere! Y ahora nos toca el midterm test. ¡Ah, qué chévere! Bien emocionante, ¿verdad? Ir completando los ciclos, ¿verdad? Es así bien satisfactorio. And congratulations, everyone, because you were doing a good job. What I really encourage you is to practice, always practice, 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 okay? Just let me take the attendance to start because we have a lot of activities tonight. I will take the attendance first, okay? So when you hear your name, please say present. And if you can turn on your camera, please turn on your cameras. Alba Janet Lopez Avalos. Okay. Ah, uh, esa fue Mayra, ¿verdad? Cecia Gemima Pérez Ideos. Ya le iba a decir a Mayra yo, 
ya démosle, púrele, como dijo, ¿a qué horas pues? Ya démosle, no se detenga. <ríe> ok, Cecia, Gemima, Pérez y Deos. Present teacher. Excellent, Cecia, we missed you yesterday. David, yes. ok, I'm so, I'm so glad to see you. Yeah, see you back. Ok, David Alejandro Choto Martínez. Presente, teacher. Ok. Delmi Isabel, ah, perdón, Debbie Stephanie Ramos Ramos. Is Debbie in? Not yet, right. Ok. Delmi Isabel Dera Salguero. Present. Daisy Carolina Sánchez Nieto. Present. Eva Leticia Contreras Argueta. Uh, I don't know if, no, it was Linda yesterday, right, with the text. Okay, Grecia Tatiana Rosales Campos. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Juan Diego López Palacios. Linda Alicia Valladares Argueta. Ahí no está linda por ahí. Que a veces está con texto. No, no ha enviado, ¿verdad? Ok. Vamos a ver. Ok. Luz Verónica Trujillo de Urbina. Present. Ok. Marco Adonai Villeda Alvarado. Mayra Yanira Alfaro Posada. Ah, so it wasn't Mayra. Maybe it was Luz, right? When, who said that? Okay, Mayra is not here yet. Melida Isabel Bonilla Ventura. Not yet. Okay. Okay. I sent a message and, and she told me, Roxana, that she was going to try to connect, but it is okay. Okay, I'm, I'm awaiting that she could make it. She can make it. Uh -huh. Some people with texting, are texting. Now let's see Nestor Ariel Garzón Asensio. Pablo Alberto Magaña Molina. Yeah. Patricia Eugenia Navarro de Rosales. Present teacher. Ok, Roxana Marilyn Pérez Ortiz. Present. Ok, then, welcome everyone to your class number 10. And today is the ending of Unit 2. So we are glad for that, but we need to check that everything is ok and understood. Ok, necesitamos ver que todo haya quedado comprendido y necesitamos ver que no se nos haya pasado algo por alto, ¿verdad? So now I'm going to start, vamos a hacer una cosa, como todos están listos para su presentación, ok, yo voy a tomar de aquí a las nueve para dar la clase de hoy porque todavía nos falta un pequeño tema de la unidad dos, ok. Entonces a partir de las nueve yo les voy a dar un chancecito para que con sus compañeros en grupo, ¿verdad? Se revisen ustedes, se animen, se vean si han hecho bien su párrafo, ¿ok? Nada más unos cinco, siete minutos y luego ya entramos y cada uno va a hacer su, su presentación, ¿verdad? Acuérdense que es una pequeña presentación, ¿ok? Teacher, ¿y lo que íbamos a hacer en, en la plataforma? ¿Qué era? No me recuerdo. Homework. Todas sus yeah. tareas... Ok, que van hasta la número 10 ahorita. Tienen sí. que quedar hechas el día de hoy. Tienen que hacer el midterm test o el parcial, ¿verdad? De ahorita, que quede ya de una vez subido el día de hoy. Y participar hoy en la discusión. Día, ya están, ya están ahí. Ah. Ya los puede subir, sí. Ya están ahí y puede participar también en la discusión, ¿verdad? Para que cuando pase la auditoría, ahí aparezca su nombre que participó en todo, ¿verdad? En, en, la discus en las discusiones. Ok. Fíjense, ¿cómo podría yo ver, se puede ver desde mi plataforma aquí el score? Sí, ahí donde dice, 
Porque... Uh, precisamente dice de desarrollo, creo que se llama. Ten, tengo sí, que verlo. Progreso, dice. Teacher. Progreso, progreso. Gracias, Luz. Eh, ahí donde dice progreso del participante, usted entra y allí mira con gráficas cómo va. Ahí abajo van las dos medidas, ¿verdad? Va la calificación y, um, y el tiempo, creo, o la fecha en que lo entrega, si no estoy mal. No recuerdo, ahorita no me acuerdo, pero por ahí así es. Sí, ya lo estoy viendo. Ok, ok, gracias. Gracias, Luz, por su colaboración. Ok, guys, we are going to start with the class. Voy a tomar este pequeño tiempo porque tenemos todavía la página 21 ocho todavía que realizar, ¿Verdad? Esa, en esa página tenemos un tema bien bonito. Para poder entrar a ese tema, lo que nosotros necesitamos saber es los números. Numbers, ¿Ok? Numbers, cardinal numbers, ¿Ok? ¿Ustedes conocen los nombres? Los, uh, ¿Did I say nombres? ¿Dije nombres? Números. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's, Numbers, números. I'm sorry, guys. Numbers, okay, no problem, números. It's because of the same pronunciation, and I was just like, okay. out yes, of I my know. mind. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Numbers, tenemos que saber los números. Okay, numbers. Spanish numbers, números. Okay, entonces, mm, ¿se saben ustedes los nombres de los números? I yes. want to hear you, okay? Come on. From I have to count from one until. Okay, until what number do you know? A thousand. A million, billions, A million. trillions. Yeah, million. <laughs> okay. <Million. Yes. laughs> nice, yeah. nice. Okay, <laughs> let's see. Just count to 10. Count to 10, please. Count ten. to 10, yes. I mean, one, two, three, four, five. Correct. Who was saying okay. the numbers over there? David, I think. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Uh, okay, ten, ten, ten. Okay, ten. Okay. It's okay. okay. I know you know the numbers. Okay, I know okay. you know the numbers, and I know that everyone here know uh, knows the numbers. Vamos okay. a ver entonces a la hora que les hacemos una pregunta. Ok, so okay. let me introduce okay. the class. Ok, voy a introducir el tema de la clase que es la revisión de la unidad 2. Ok, pero déjenme compartirles estos slides para que nos ubiquemos en orden, ¿verdad? Ok, here we go. Um, <clears throat> so we need to know the numbers, but let's see first this. Okay, we're going to move this thing over here. And there we go. Just let me move you all here. Okay, so. Today we are going to do a review and also a practice. This is your class number 10 and welcome everybody. Today uh, we are finishing unit two and the goal for tonight is precisely that. We are going to, you will be able to review and practice unit two and also you, are, um, you will be able to show your progress, okay? You will be able to show your progress with an uh, with a little presentation or a short presentation with your obligations, right? And also the frequency that you do those activities. Okay. Now, the agenda for tonight is that we have uh, to learn to say the date. This is the topic for tonight, saying the date. And we are going to talk also about scheduled activities. Scheduled activities. Do you know what is that? Scheduled activities? Alguien sabe que son scheduled activities? Scheduled activities? 
como uh, agenda de actividades. It's Correct. like a, a list of activities that we had to do in, in some players and, and well, in our jobs. Okay, in a certain time, our right? As a certain date, okay? Yes. So yes, those are scheduled activities. Correct, it's agenda, right? Your agenda and also the activities programmed to uh, be developed in some place and some date and some time, okay? Yes. Okay, guys, after that, we are going to study or, or review the question, how often do you so-and-so, right? Then I know you know the imperatives and also we are going to uh, have the presentations uh, of what do you have to do or need to do at your job. Okay, eso sería su presentación. And also we are going to remember urgency expressions. And the session one-on-one -on -one for tonight is Juan's turn, okay? Ahora es el turno de Juan, session one-on-one -on -one for Juan Diego. Okay, so let's start then. El tema que voy ahorita es saying the date, okay? Saying the date. Pero para poder entrar a decir la fecha, primero quiero que recordemos y movilicemos un poquito la mente a traer los números a la memoria, okay? So I'm going to show these numbers. Okay. Okay. These are the numbers. Okay. okay. What is the important thing here? The important thing here is the pronunciation, correct pronunciation. Yes. Necesitamos una correcta pronunciación porque tienden a confundir, ¿verdad? Cuando le están hablando a uno, uno quiere detectar si le están diciendo 40 o 14, o si le están diciendo 13 o, o 30, ¿verdad? Entonces, la pronunciación es lo más importante de los números. ¿Verdad? Porque los números los escribimos tal así como arábigos, ¿verdad? Los escribimos el 1, el 2, el 3, like math, mathematic or arithmetic, ¿verdad? O sea, lo, los escribimos como aritmética o como matemática, ¿no? Casi nunca estamos escribiendo números en letras, a menos para los cheques de los bancos o los depósitos en los bancos, ahí sí tenemos que escribir los números en letras, ¿right? Eh, decir números en letras se dice word number ok the word number que quiere decir el número en palabras ok the word number quiere decir que usted lo debe escribir en letras word number ok let's see the numbers from one to ten we know them right one two three four five six seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now let's see from 11 to 20, okay? We are going to count to 20 now, okay? From 11, so 11. Esta letra E es como una E, right? 11, something like that. Suave, una E suave, 11. Esta V al final, Esta V prácticamente suena como entre los labios, ¿verdad? V, V. So, 12, 12, ¿ok? Como que fuera una F, ¿verdad? Right? 12. 12, uh -huh, 12. Vamos a ver, ahora, del 13 al 19, tenemos los que terminan en teen, ¿ok? El inicio se parece mucho a los que van del 1 al 9, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver entonces. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, ¿ok? Vamos a ver, el acento lo vamos a hacer así como exagerado ahorita para que ustedes logren diferenciar, ¿ok? Lo vamos a hacer como exagerado. A medida ustedes van practicando los números, van a ir haciéndolo más naturalmente. 
¿ok? Entonces, la fuerza de voz, the strong voice here is in the first syllable, ¿ok? We are going to say 13, ¿ok? Right? I'm sorry, the strong voice is in the second and this one is in the first one. So, 13, ¿ok? 13. I want to hear you guys open your audios and now you are going to say 13. 13. 13. Ok, so, like this. La T y la H la vamos a pronunciar como una letra Z del de español de España, ¿verdad? Así. Ahorita no importa que usted escupa y todo porque no tenemos ese sonido en nuestra lengua. Entonces le tenemos que enseñar a nuestro cerebro a decir ese sonido que no hacemos, ¿ok? Entonces, quiero escucharlos a todos haciendo el zumbidito de... Everybody. Ok. Muy bien. Very good. Ok, we're going to say 13. 13. 13. 13. Correct. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 15. 15. 15. 16. 16. 17. 17. 17. 18. 18. 18, 18, 18, 19, 19, 19. Entonces va esa, esa fuerza de, vo, de voz la hacemos al final en teen, ¿verdad? Ahorita teen. lo estamos exagerando y se nos oye así bien marcado al final. Por eso nos cuesta ahorita diferenciar a los que están hablando, eh, a los que nos hablan o lo escuchan en la televisión o donde ustedes lo escuchen que no saben si dijo 40 o 14, right? Entonces, acuérdense, si al final es como una i, 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 n, ok, 14, yeah, 15, ah, estamos entre, el, entre los teens, ¿verdad? Así se les llama a los adolescentes, teens, a los que son de la edad de 13 a 19 años son los teenagers, ¿verdad? Teenagers, porque así son los números desde el 13 al 19. Ok, now let's go to the 20. 20, la letra T en americano, en inglés americano no suena, ok. Esta letra T al final dir diría 20. 20, ok. 20. 20. Uh -huh. Now, Veamos cómo se escriben estos números. Estos números del 21 al, 3, al 29 les ponemos un guioncito, ¿ok? Eso es básico, ¿ok? Le ponemos un guioncito entre el número entero y el número de unidad, ¿ok? La decena y la unidad. So, in this case will be like 21, 21, 22, 23. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Miren ahora el acento en el 30 ya iría en la primera sílaba. 30, ok? 30, 30. Es corto al final y es un poquito más largo al principio. 30. Everybody please say 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. Entonces, igual iría con estos números, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, en la primera sílaba, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100, ok, 100. Entonces, ya que tenemos esta diferencia, is there any question about the numbers? Questions? No. Ok, we are going to the next one. Next slide. And I'm going to ask some questions, ok. Quiero ir un poquitín más eh, abierto aquí para que nos quepa todo. Vamos a ver. 
Okay, here we go. The number one, how old well are you? How old well are you? Ah, no me vayan a mentir. <laughs> no se vayan a quitar años, okay? How old well are you? How old well are you? ¿Qué edad tienes? Okay, how old well are you? A ver, le vamos a preguntar a Néstor. A ver, porque a él no le da pena nada. Vamos a ver. How old well are you, Néstor? I'm 33 years old. Correct. Entonces, utilizamos I am. Pero, ¿cómo lo contractamos para decirlo más fluido? I'm. I'm. And he said uh, 43, right? Like this. 43 years. 43. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, I, I know that. I, there are three I, I, years. I, I, <laughs> no, no, I'm sorry, no, I'm sorry. Este siempre es un tema sensible, chicos. Yo sé que este es un tema muy sensible. No, hey, no quiero enemigos aquí, ¿verdad? Aquí nos vamos a perdonar. <laughs> Entonces, vamos a ver. I'm 33 years old. Ok, correct. Esta es la manera correcta de contestar para decir su edad. Ok. For example, Cecia, how old are you? I'm 38 years old. Correct. Okay. Okay. Ahora voy a preguntar. Aquí si no es necesario que me den su número eh, de teléfono, ¿verdad? Porque pues no lo vamos a hacer público. Okay. But I need to know a phone number. Okay. No And problem, teacher. I can give you, but it isn't exist. The number. <laughs> yes, uh, one that it doesn't exist. Correct. Okay, uh, a fake one. Okay, a fake one. So let's see. What's your phone number, Luz? Um, cualquier un número inventado. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Thirty. No. Seven, seven, one. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay, let me see. So, no me lo da. Seven, uh, uh. Otra vez. A ver. Seven. So, problem again. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really sad for that. And I was telling Daisy tonight, uh, the beginning when we started that mm -hmm. I was having this kind of trouble. I think it is because of the configuration, right? Let's see, maybe seven, no. Oh God, now nah, let's Try. see. Um, what in the difference with different types? types? No, y lo terrible que los números, cabala los números, se mire, y ya se quedó ahí trabado. Vamos a ver. Oh. I'm sorry, guys. I'm really ah. sorry about this. Something's happening. Creo que es porque está abierto esto otro. One moment. Uh -huh. Vamos a intentar de esta manera. Seven, one, no. Do you hear the... Okay, one moment. What about teacher is if you start writing with letter and then put the right number? I don't know what's going on here because I have two keyboards and I'm checking the keyboards. If is there any key that it is locked, but it is not. So they are not locked. So we have to, uh, I mean, we can do it. Seven, nope, 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 nope. One moment, please. I'm so sorry, guys. I really apologize for this inconvenience. A laptop or a scriptor? Uh... Yes, it's a laptop. It's okay. a laptop. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, just let me see what is going on. Teacher, yo creo que tiene que salir su turno de cuatro para poder escribir. Quizás por eso no le permite, no sé. Del cuadro donde dice, eh, what you know? Ajá, uh ajá. -huh, uh -huh. Okay, I'm going to try this way again. Puede hacer. Let me see. Posicionarse un poco más abajo, tal vez pueda ser. It could be, right. Okay, I'm going to do this. Maybe this is also doing the problem. Um, vamos a usar el de Zoom. A ver. Uh, seven. Okay, there we go. Thank you very much, Daisy. Good, good observation. Okay, vamos a usar el de Zoom en este momento instead of the PowerPoint control. Okay, so again, Luz, you were saying seven, three, seven, one, two, six, eight, four, nine, three, eight, four. Uh, let's see, nine, three, nine, only nine, right? In this case, because they are eight numbers one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, eight numbers, okay? So we're gonna leave it like this. Thank you very much, Luz. Okay, in English, we have this situation. When we say our phone number, our phone number uh, in El Salvador, uh, we have the area code that it is 503, right? We say 503. Si estamos hablando en una llamada internacional o vamos a dar una cosa, uh, perdón, vamos a llenar un formulario online, ¿verdad? Donde la sede de esa compañía no está aquí en El Salvador. Then we use 503. Y hay compañías en El Salvador que aún así le piden a uno que lo llene con 503 porque tienen líneas extranjeras, ¿verdad? Okay, yes, but the area code, esto se llama area code. En este caso sería like the country code eh, 503, okay, from El Salvador. Each country has a code, right? Okay. Yo les voy a enviar un video para que ustedes vean otros detalles de cómo se dice eh, los números de teléfono. Ahorita no lo vamos a ver, okay, por el tiempo. Y porque no ese es el tema, ¿ok? We're just, estamos nada más recordando los números. A ver, now, Mayra, how much is a tortilla? <laughs> how much is a tortilla? Mm. One tortilla, two tortillas, three tortillas, four tortillas. ¿Dólar? Uh, ok, ¿a cómo son las tortillas? Um, sí, pero no serían um, four, ay, cuatro por uh -huh. okay. four, four, okay. four, eh, the, four, per four, 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 ¿cómo sería four? Ajá, uh -huh. like this, in this case, four, four. we could say pair, pero este en este sería, caso, ajá, uh -huh, sería la like idea, ¿verdad? Porque hay de, o sea, de, ajá, uh -huh. four. Uh -huh. Sería for ID like this, eh, right? One eh, twenty five centavos en dólar, no, no cents, recuerdo. cents, cents. Ah, cents. Okay. <laughs> okay. Néstor dijo algo bien interesante también porque ese también se llama quarter en en English. En es, aquí en el salvadoreño le decimos la cora, ¿verdad? Decimos cuatro por la cora. Okay, but in English, we can say four for a quarter. Okay, four for a quarter. Four tortillas for a quarter. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So now we are just remembering the, the numbers and we are seeing that it's very important to know the numbers because we use them all every day, right? Every day. So now we are going to continue. Uh, because to say the date, 
Okay. Para decir la fecha, no vamos a usar estos números cardinales, ¿verdad? Sino que son los números ordinales, los de orden, ¿ok? Ordinales. And in this case, I'm going to show you here, ¿ok? These are the cardinal numbers, ¿ok? Bien, veamos. Cada uno de estos números corresponde obviamente a uno de los cardinales, ¿verdad? But the first one, it says first. A ver si lo puedo escribir ahora correcto desde acá. Vamos a ver. Nope. Yeah, let me see. Cada una de estas palabras tiene una abreviatura o una forma, ¿verdad? Una nomenclatura. So, for in this case, we are seeing here from the 4th to 10th, from the 11th to 20th, from the 21st to the 31st. Estos son los números que vamos a utilizar. Uh, ok, Daisy, tell me. A mí solo me sale eh, la pantalla donde todavía está lo de How old are you? Sí, la misma pantalla sale, teacher. Ok, let me, let me see, let me see, please. Sí, las, las tres preguntas que nos hizo hace poquito. And now? Ahora salen los números. Sí. Sí. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you for telling me, thank you for telling me, thank you. Yeah, I was, I was saying that this was a yellow instead of a green, ok, but yeah. Ok, guys, so look, the... Number one, okay, when is the first day of the month, okay, decimos first, first, uh, I'm sorry, first lo decimos así, first, first, tenemos que sonar esa S y esa T juntas, okay, first, first, everyone please, saying First. 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 Okay. And, y la nomenclatura sería a number one y la finalización de esta palabra que sería ST. Okay. First. Now, what about the second? Uh, we write number two y la finalización. ¿En qué termina? What is the ending of second? And the and, and, and D. And D, correct. What about the third? We write R D. Correct. R correct. R so we have first, second, and third. A partir del cuatro, como ya del cuatro en adelante terminan en la letra TH, okay, el sonido de eso tiene que sonar. Okay, tiene que escucharse like this. Por eso lo hicimos al principio bastante ese sonido, ¿ok? Al principio uno se le sale todo, ¿verdad? La, la saliva, escupe, lo que sea, no importa. Hay que enseñarle al cerebro que hay que hacer ese sonido. Entonces, fourth, fourth, at the end, right? Fourth, fifth, sixth. Exageremos ahorita la pronunciación. Quiero escucharlos a todos como que fuera así. Eh, the central market here. From fourth to tenth. Ok. Fourth. Fourth. Fifth. 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 Correct. No vamos a decir tenth con una T al final, porque entonces decimos otra cosa diferente. Veamos la escritura de ninth. Si se fijan, aquí no lleva la letra E, ¿verdad? Aquí va sin la letra E. Solo es ninth. Ninth. Veamos. Is there any question about these numbers? No? What about from 11th to 20th? I want to hear you guys. 11th, everyone, please, as the central market. 
En la escritura se quita la letra Y y se pone la letra Y latina, ¿verdad? Y se le agrega la E, la T y la H. 20th. ¿Ok? What about uh, el día 21 del de mes? Vamos a decir es the 21st. No vamos a decir the 21. We are going to say the 21st. The 21st. What about the next one? 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Next one? 20 23rd. Continue. 24. 26, 27, 27, 28, 29, 30, 30th. 30. 30. 30. 30. Ok. 30. Y como el mes solo tiene 31 días, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver ahorita hasta 31st. Ok. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. Ahora, la misma, la misma teoría le van a poner a los demás, ¿verdad? La misma teoría ya cuando tengan que hablar de aniversarios y cosas así. Entonces, sí, ustedes ya la misma teoría. 32nd, 33rd, 30th, etc. to 40th, ¿ok? 40th. Le vamos quitando la Y y le ponemos la I-E-T-H, ¿ok? Do you have any question at the moment? No. Okay. okay, then we are going to see this. We are going to learn how to say the year. Okay, this is the way to say a year. Saying the year, we are going to uh, separate into two. Um, the, num the name for that is like ciphers. Okay, como que fueran cifras. Yeah. So, um, for example, Vamos a ver, 2021, podríamos decirlo, tal como está aquí, right? 2021. O lo podríamos decir, el, the current year, el año actual, the current year is 2021. Podemos decirlo de las dos maneras. But what about this years? Veamos nada más la teoría básica de esto, ¿ok? Para decir estos números, Ok, estos años, eh, digamos que usted está leyendo un libro o está escuchando, ¿verdad? Acerca de la historia de any history, about any country, anything, ok? Any person, ok? Then you hear, lo dividen en dos, ok? La primera que está en español es 1502, right? But we in English divide this into two parts and we say 15. 02, ok, 1502, correct, 1502, es 1502, right, we could say 1502, ok, but it is, it is too long, and um, the correct way to understand this easily is 1502, ok, the next one, it says, a ver, ¿cómo diríamos 1821 basado en eso? Dividiéndolo entre, en dos partes. 1821. Correct. What about the next one? 1992. Okay. What about if, uh, what if I write this year? Did you see? ¿Cómo diríamos este que tiene dos ceros? 
al final. Este lo cambiamos. Este tiene su forma especial de decirse. Ok, y sería 19, y como son dos ceros, le decimos 1900. Ok, 1900. Ok. 1900. 1900. Ok. What about the years from 2000 to 2010? Esos años, ok, um, se dicen completos. Ok, eso se dicen completos. The 2000. Ok. To, uh, for example, it was the, uh, the, the date, October 21st. 2000, of 2000, I'm sorry, of 2000. Estoy diciendo del 2000, ¿verdad? Nosotros decimos del 2000, right? In English we say of 2000, 2000. ¿Cuál seguiría? 2001, yeah? 2003. Pero le agregamos una palabrita que es and, ¿ok? El número como tal es 2000, ¿ok? El número como tal es 2001, right? Pero le agregamos end, ok? Y decimos 2001, 2002, 2003, 2004, hasta llegar a 2010. A partir del eh, 11 and 12, 2012, todavía el 2011, eh, lo decimos completo, ok? Pero del 2012 para allá podríamos decir. Ya lo podemos hacer así como están estos dos. Lo podemos decir completo o lo podemos dividir. Ok. We could say, for example, 2012 or 2000, uh, I'm sorry, 2012. Ok. 2012. And it is ok. It is correct. It's accepted. Ahora, is there any question about the year? How to say the year? ¿Alguna pregunta? Is there any question? No. No questions? Okay. We are going to see what are the months of the year. Do you know the months of the year? A ver los meses del año. The months of the year. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, July. August, July, 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 November, December, okay. Ahora, miren, esto es bien importante que lo aprendamos porque los países no están estandarizados a una sola forma de cómo se dice la fecha o cómo se escribe la fecha. En eh, Estados Unidos tienen su propia manera, prácticamente es única porque en, en ningún otro lado de, del mundo pues casi que se usa esa forma, ¿verdad? Nada más para las compañías gringas que están representadas en, en, en uh, for the branches around the world, ¿verdad? Para las eh, sucursales que están en diferentes eh, países. ¿verdad? Sería la única manera que lo podrían usar en otro país. Ok, pero la forma en inglés americano, en American English, es saying first the month, then the date, and then the year. Ok, month, date, and year. Nosotros no lo decimos así. Nosotros cuando lo escribimos ponemos primero el día, después ponemos el mes y por último ponemos el año, ¿verdad? Por ahí una compañía de estandarización, ¿verdad? Que lo conocemos todos como ISO en español, ¿verdad? Lo conocemos como ISO. Ellos estandarizaron a que pusiéramos el año primero, ¿verdad? But not all the countries have ISO, ¿ok? Not, not all the countries have that organization. So, uh, we have to be aware that in the, in the United States, you have to write the date like this and you have to say the date like this, okay? Month, date, and year, okay? Para no causar ninguna confusión, ¿verdad? Entonces, veamos estas fechas que están acá. This, dates. Estas fechas, okay, acuérdense, aquí no hay una TH, ¿verdad? 
Vea que no hay una TH que nos diferencie cuál es el día. Entonces, inmediatamente nuestra mente tiene que recordar que el día va exactamente en medio. In the middle, right? In the middle is the day. So, what day is the first one? What date is it the first one? What date? Uh -huh. December. Uh -huh. Okay, great. December 24, 2021. Excellent, excellent. Ahora, la siguiente. What month is it? September. 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 What is the date? 15. 15. 15. The 15th. Okay. And what is the year? 2021. Excellent. And the third one. What month is it? February. 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 Okay. Uh -huh. February. And what date is it? 14th. 14th. At the end, right? And 2021, okay. Now, vamos a ir a la otra parte just to check this, okay? Para aprender a decir las fechas. Ya sabemos cómo decir el año, ya sabemos cómo o qué números usar para decir la fecha, ya conocemos los meses, ahora veamos los días de la semana, okay? What are the week, I'm, I'm sorry, the days of the week? What are the days of the week? Can you tell me? Sunday, 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 Monday, 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 Monday Tuesday, Wednesday, Tuesday, 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 Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 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 Friday, 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 Saturday, and Saturday. Okay, great, great. A ver. Como ya sabemos que primero decimos el mes, luego decimos la fecha y por último el año, ¿ok? Yo les voy a hacer una preguntita, an easy one, antes de hacer esas que están ahí. What date is it today? What date is it today? What date? Mm -hmm. Okay. Aquí, ajá, excellent. Tenemos que recordar que como me preguntaron, is it, ¿verdad? Entonces mi respuesta debe de ser it's. Okay. It's. It's. October. Okay. ok, para decirlo tenemos que poner dos palabritas, ok, vamos a decir, it's October the 13th, ok, of 2021, ok, ahí sería completa la fecha. Todavía no, no decimos ahí el día. Usualmente mmm, no vamos a decir el día, ¿ok? Pero si nos tocara decir el día, lo decimos, el día de la semana, lo decimos al principio, ¿ok? O incluso se puede decir hasta el final. Es ya cuestión suya. Pero por orden lo pondríamos al principio, ¿ok? Entonces, sería, por ejemplo, uh, it's Wednesday. October the 13th of 2021. Okay? Are we okay with this? What date is it today? It's... It's Wednesday, October the 13th of the 2021. Excellent. Esa sería como la, la completa, ¿verdad? La, la que incluye todito, la formal, ¿verdad? Como para la de carta, ¿verdad? Para una carta o un informe o something like this. Ajá. Bien. Ahora, ¿cómo respondemos when's your birthday? Ajá. When's your birthday? When's your birthday, Daisy? 
eh, primero el de Daisy y después vemos el que está colocado acá, ¿ok? When's your birthday, Daisy? Uh, my birthday is November 28th. Excellent. November 28th. Excellent. Ok. Ahora veamos acá. When's your birthday? Esa es la pregunta. Ok. Veamos la carita azul. The blue happy face. What date is that birthday? October 23rd. 3rd. Ok. Great. October. I'm sorry. October the 23rd. Okay, great. Let's see. When is the training? October 12th. Okay. 12th. Okay. Acordémonos. Que aquí vamos a decir it's, ¿verdad? It's. Uh -huh. Veamos, the training has two days, right? Last two days. So, October the 12th and... Uh -huh. to you. I want to hear you guys. Uh-huh. 13th. 13th. Um, yes, 13th. Okay, here we go. Now, let's see the next one. When is the conference? When is the conference? October 24th. It's October 24th. October 24th. Okay, great. Now, let's see the last one. When is the uh, no, the conference, guys. The oh, conference. October 29th. Okay. 29th. The 29th, correct. Okay, what about the, when is the company's anniversary celebration? It's October 24th. Okay, here we go. Okay. Ahora, vamos a poner lo que nos falta en la respuesta. Okay. For the first one, is okay, we could say November the 28th, pero decimos it's. Okay. It's November 28th. Uh, and the next one, when is the training? When is the training? Si lo decimos con el mes, vamos a utilizar in, ok, entonces sería it's in October the 23rd, ok, vamos a ver, the next one, it says when is the training, when is the training, mm -hmm. it's in October the 12th and the 13th, okay? Si aquí dijéramos el día, for example, is in uh, Tuesday and Wednesday, no diríamos in, diríamos on, on, I'm sorry, on, okay? Si pusiéramos el día, okay? And the last one, uh, it's a when, um, when's your birthday, it's, October the 29th, I think, right? Uh, no, this is the conference. Okay, this is the conference, October the 29th. This one was um, the other birthday, okay? Ahí podríamos decir it, okay, the first one, right? When's your birthday? October the 23rd, this one. And then it's October the 23rd. Then it's in October the 12th and the 13th, right? And then it's October 29th. Ahí sería it's in, okay? It's in October the 29th. And the last one, the 24th, the celebration, 
lo mismo, ¿verdad? It's in. Yeah. Si decimos el día, acuérdense, vamos a poner on Sunday, right? October 24th. Okay. Do you have any question about this? No questions? No. Eh, disculpe, no, no me no. fijé por qué le quitó uh, la fecha del 3 de tú. In. ¿A este último? No, al segundo. Ah, porque decimos, when's your birthday? Cuando nos hacen esta pregunta, when's your birthday, solo decimos, it's el mes y el día, la fecha, ok, el número del día, right? So it will be, it's October 23rd, right? It's October the 23rd, también puede sonar bien. Ok. Ya no sería en. No, no lo necesita, ahí sí no lo necesita. Okay. ¿Y los demás? Los demás, sí. Los demás sí lo va a decir. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Teacher, eh, uh -huh. para el, para when is the training? Uh -huh. eh, si queremos decir los días, ¿cómo sería? ¿O no se dice en ese caso? Porque son dos fechas. Eh, siempre sería on on Tuesday and Wednesday, right? On Tuesday and Wednesday. Like this, right? Wednesday. Correct? Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Ahí sería eh, on, ¿verdad? Porque estamos diciendo el día. ¿Se acuerdan que al principio de este curso vimos on Mondays, on Fridays, on para des cuando decimos solo el día es on, ¿ok? Incluso decir la fecha completa, okay. pero diciendo el día también lleva on. Ok, ok. Ok, great. So now we are going to see the last part of this thing, ok? Let me... Ok. I'm going to read the conversation that you're talking about uh, some uh, scheduled activities, okay? And we're going to see. Adele, please check my agenda. When is the meeting with the consultant? On Monday, November 22nd. What about the conference with the Mexican representatives? It's on Friday the 26th. Miren, hay diferentes maneras cuando se dice el día, cuando se dice con el mes, cuando se, di cuando, uh, se dice solo la fecha, ¿ok? Entonces, veamos esta. On Monday, November 22nd. O on Monday, November the 22nd. ¿Ok? Aquí le agregaríamos the, the. In es correcto, no hay ningún problema. What about the conference with the Mexican representatives? It's on Friday the 26th. Okay. Aquí se sabe entonces que es el, el mes que está pasando, ¿verdad? El mes del momento. En este probablemente es el siguiente mes, like the one that we are, right? Uh, for example, we are in October and then we are talking about the next month, November, right? So, yeah. Um, is there any question about this? Okay, then I'm going to ask, when is Susan's meeting? When is Susan's meeting? It's on Monday, November 22nd. Correct. Uh, guys, do you think Susan has a busy agenda? Do you think that Susan has a busy agenda? Really, no. No. All right, she has only two events, oh. right? Mm -hmm. why, why do you think that? Not really. Why? Because only have um 
one thing to do on the month. Okay, okay. One event, right? One event. Okay. And then she has another one the next month. Yeah, it could be that it, she's not too busy. Or maybe she is really busy and someone else is going or attending the events. We don't know that either, right? But yeah, you're, you, you are right. You are right. Only two events, right, on the agenda. So let's continue with the next part here, okay? I'm gonna stop sharing. I will take the attendance, I will check it. Y después nos vamos a ir a los breakout rooms para que ustedes practiquen su presentación y con sus compañeros se corrijan entre ustedes, ¿verdad? Acuérdense que lo que hay que usar es your uh, uh, have to, need to, and um, frequency adverbs, ¿verdad? ¿Con qué frecuencia ustedes hacen las actividades que tienen que hacer? ¿Ok? Your responsibilities. Alba Janet López Ábalos. Present. Cecia Gemima Pérez Ideos. Present. David Alejandro Choto Martínez. Present. Debbie Estefany Ramos Ramos. Delmi Isabel Dera Salguero. Present. Daisy Carolina Sánchez Nieto. Present. Eva Leticia Contreras Argueta. Grecia Tatiana Rosales Campos. Present. Juan Diego López Palacios. Juan Diego López Palacios. No, Juan Diego. Linda Alicia Valladares Argueta. Present teacher. Luz Verónica Trujillo de Urbina. Present. Marco Adonai Villeda Alvarado. Mayra Yanira Alfaro Posada. Present teacher. Okay. Melida Isabel Bonilla Ventura. Present. Ok, Melida, welcome back. Néstor Ariel Garce Garzona Asensio. Present teacher. Pablo Alberto Magaña Molina. Patricia Eugenia Navarro de Rosales. Present teacher. Roxana Marilín Pérez Ortiz. Present. Ok, great. So let me um, create the rooms. Ok, we'll be... Right, so it will be like this. There we are. Ah, por ahí tenemos entonces. Ahí. Vamos a ver. Here we go.
No hay nadie ahí. No hay nadie. Uh -uh. Permítame. No, con los oyentes no me mande porque ellos no, no se pueden. Y fíjese que le di bastante, bastante, bastantes veces que me lo recreara y no. Ah, Pero... no, le, le recrea los grupos. Ajá, permítame, permítame. Vamos a ver, Mayrita, ahorita la ubicamos. Gracias. Ok. Ajá. Mayra, ¿y en qué sala le tocó? En la C y me salía. Ok. Entonces la voy a pasar a la sala 4, ¿ok? Con oh. David y con Luz. Bueno, muchas gracias. Ok. Pero ellos no están de oyentes. No. Aquí está. Hola, teacher. Hola, Linda. How are you doing? Ay, ya más o menos. Tengo una computadora ya que. Menos mal que ya logró, ¿verdad? Sí, me costó por eso. Here I am, Néstor. Casi no le entendía bien. Ajá. Entonces, no sé si nos podría explicar más o menos cómo está la actividad. La actividad era la que les dejé el lunes. El lunes les dije que ahora les tocaba hacer su presentación basado en sus propias actividades que realizan en su trabajo, utilizando de base la de Mr. Wilson. ¿Se acuerdan? En la página 24 okay. de sí, su manual. Sí. El párrafo, el párrafo. Exactamente. Párrafo. Exactly. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. Exactamente. Ok, exactamente como, como aparece ahí en la 24, básense para hacer su párrafo y lo escriben y nos lo comparten a la hora de eh, que regresemos a la sala central, ¿verdad? A la sala principal. Okay. Entonces yo okay. lo tengo y podemos practicar ahí con la compañera. Ok, ok. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Y ahí y me le ayuda. En la sala, ya con una clase. Exactly, con exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. You have to share it with your classmates in the main room. Yeah. Okay, okay. Lee. Okay, okay. 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 Then. okay. There we go. Gracias. My pleasure. Tres, cuatro. Ok, porque tienen que, como las que eran de I need you y I have you. I need, have to, I need to. Eso. Correct. Remember that you have an, hello girls, uh, remember uh, that you have an, an example in page 24. Roxana, please help Melida to catch up, okay? Que se pueda poner al día ahí. Eh, Melida, vaya a su manual y en, ahí en la plataforma y allí está en la página 24 un párrafo, okay? que eh, Mr. Wilson cuenta las actividades que son sus obligaciones y con qué frecuencia hace esas tareas o esas actividades en su trabajo. Y las, las eh, formas que se usan son I have to and I need to. Okay? Pero también con los adverbios de frecuencia. For example, I can say I always attend meetings in the afternoon, for example. Okay? Melida? Melida? Hello?
Oh, I'm sorry, Roxana. Grecia? Sí. Okay, uh, you have your paragraph ready? Mm, creo que sí. Okay, great. Then you can share with Roxana and you can check if it is okay. Okay. Okay, there you go. And help Melida, please, to catch up. Okay? Yeah. Thank you, girls. Grand. Hello. Hello. I didn't activate my audio, but now I am okay. I can hear you and you can hear me. Hello, Patricia. How are you doing? You're ready. Excellent. Excellent, Patricia. Me desconecté un momento, se fue el internet, pero. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, great. Great. Quizás se lo voy a decir al compañero porque creo que solo estaba de oyente. Ajá, pero yo creo que también él le puede compartir o enviarle la, la que él ha hecho porque él también hubiera presentado, ¿verdad? Tal vez se lo manda. Pablo, tal vez ahí nos está escuchando y puede enviarle su párrafo aquí a Patricia o nos envía el párrafo para que lo veamos. Nos lo puede enviar por WhatsApp. Niños, por favor. Por. No, he, he's not listening to us at this moment. I don't know. Okay. Okay, Patricia, I see you are ready. I see you are ready. And it's time for us to go to the main room, okay? Is it okay uh -huh. if you are the first one and presenting? Está bien si usted es la primera en presentar? Okay. Okay. Vámonos a la sala principal. Let's go to the main room. Okay? Okay. Thank you very much, Patricia, for your responsibility. Okay. You are just let me leave here. Recojame su mano. Okay, everyone, is everybody back? Let me check. I have only nine of you here. Let's wait just for one more minute, okay? Okay. Okay, I think here we are, or oh, everybody is here. Okay, then the first uh, presenting is Patricia, okay? So please everybody pay attention. My activities. I am Patricia Eugenia Navarro Rivas de Rosales. I am pharmacy chemistry. Actually, I work in Procats is a piece of CV or the CV in the department quality control. At 6 a.m. I need to check my emails for import, important information. And then always I have to meeting with my boss. Uh, 
Generally, I take my lunch at 1 p.m. At noon, I have to sign report and quality certificate. I do not have a this specific time go learn my job. Usually finish my report at 2 a.m. I like my job, but I need to take relax at 10 p.m. I run on the street for 30 minutes. Okay. Okay, excellent. Excellent. You got 10 points here. Okay. Yeah. You see, uh, she needs to check her emails for important information. And then she has uh, meetings with her boss. Excellent. At 10. Good. At noon. Excellent. I have to sign reports. Perfect. And okay, quality certificates. Oh, so you don't have uh, a, a living time. Okay. Living time. Okay, you don't have a specific uh, time to live. Okay. Uh, time to live. Uh huh. Instead of go, okay. I do not have. Aquí sería un specific. Uh, un, uh, Specific. Uh huh. And specific time to no. leave my job. Time to. Uh huh. Ya no sería go, solo sería leave. ¿Verdad? Uh, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. And then usually I. I finish my reports. Oh my God. And what time do you sleep? <laughs> it says I need to take uh, a relax at 10 p.m. Okay. Uh, 10 30 p.m. Do you go out for a running? For a run? A las diez y media sale a correr. A las diez sale a correr. Después de la clase se va a correr. Patricia? No le escuchamos. Okay. This is amazing. It's amazing. Good. Good. Okay. But you did it. For me, relax. Okay. My job is Yes. Yes, this is stressing. Yes. Okay, great. Congratulations. You did a good job. Excellent. It's a very excellent explanation of your activities. Okay, then we want to thank you very much. You can stop sharing the screen. Okay. Ya puede dejar de compartir. And let's see. Uh, we want to listen to. Vamos a ir casi que por el orden que me van apareciendo acá. Okay. So we have David Alejandro, okay? It's your turn. Okay, teacher. Um, I'm going to share my screen. Okay. But I don't prepare uh, the paragraph, but I write quickly in this moment. Okay, let's let's uh, take a look of it. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, this is um, I read one right now. Now, hello, my name is David Choto. I work in an office. I am a chief electronic security. Every day in the morning, I check email for the company. At 10 a.m., I read daily reports. On the afternoon, I supervise the progress of the projects. And finally, I have a meet with my boss. At 8 p.m., I go to my home. 
Okay, let's try to read it with uh, some, uh, we could say observations, right? I'm going to try to read it. You did a good job because you have the idea, okay? Ahora, lo que falta acá sería eh, ponerle lo, eh, como una obligación las cosas, okay? I have to, okay? I need to. En este caso, podríamos decir, hello, my name is David Choto. I work in an office. I'm a chief electronic security. Is, is that correct? Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Every day in the morning, I have to check emails uh, from the company or for the company. At 10 p.m., I uh, need to read daily reports on the afternoon I supervise. Ahí sería en tiempo presente sin esa letra D del final. Okay. I supervise. Okay. Tendría que ser, I have to supervise the progress of the project or the projects, solo the project. And finally, I have to attend a meeting. Okay. And finally, I have to attend a meeting with my boss. Okay. And at 6 p.m. Okay. PM, I leave home, right? I, I'm sorry, I leave work. Right? Ah, okay, okay. Good. Usualmente no decimos to my home, ¿verdad? Porque obviamente si usted va a casa, a home, es suya. Okay, independientemente no sea suya, ¿verdad? La casa eh, o de la familia o whatever, we say I go home. Okay, I ah, okay. go okay. home, sin to my, okay? Okay. Excellent. Okay, guys, thank you very much. Stop sharing, and now we want to hear tell me. Go ahead, please. Okay. Quiero ver si puedo compartir pantalla. Abajo, it says compartir, excellent. Okay. There you are. Mm -hmm. Teacher, tell me next. Uh, I couldn't to make a, a presentation, so I just write on my notebook. I don't know. Okay, then I... you can share. You can share the board, and you write it. Uh, you type it in. Okay. 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 Thank you. There you go. Okay, tell me. Okay. I always check my email five times a day. I sometimes answer the phone and talk to customers. I have prepared the accounting information for the external auditor. I rarely visit customers to verify accounting information. I check inventory one time a month and I usually present information to government Entities. Entities, okay. Entities. I am busy, but I enjoy my work. Excellent. You did a really good job here. And it's a very nice presentation too, Delmi. So now let's read it with some observations, okay? We say, uh, hello, my name is Delmi Deras. I work in an office. Acuérdese que lleva una N porque la siguiente empieza con una vocal, ¿verdad? In an office, I'm a, aquí tiene que ponerle una letra a, I'm a public accountant, okay. Every day I organize receipts. Then I, en este caso, uh, podemos poner, I have to, okay. I have to account or En este caso sería como track records, ¿ok? Track records, en vez de accounting. Oh, ok. Ok, podemos poner track. I have to track. No, track con una A, with the letter A. To track records, excellent. Uh, 
to, to prepare, en vez de for, sería to prepare, uh -huh. financial information, ok, daily, podríamos haber puesto daily allá antes de, de financial information, pero está bien, ok, so okay. I always uh, have to check my email, ok, I always have to check my email. Porque estamos tratando de usar el have to and need to también, ¿verdad? Yes. Obligations and needs. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I always have to. Have to check. To, to check. check my email five times a day. Okay. I sometimes answer the phone and talk to customers. Okay. I have to prepare, acuérdese que la frase completa es I have to prepare, I have to, uh -huh. para decir tener que, verdad, mm -hmm. prepare the accounting information for the external auditors, I rarely visit customers to verify accounting information, okay, good, I check inventory up, uh, one time, sería una sola, verdad, sería once, once a month, okay, I check inventory once a month. Uh, sería, se lo voy a decir así, mire. No, sería once, s o n c e c e perdón. Ah, O-N-C-E. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Once a month. And I usually present information to government entities. Aquí puede decir, and I usually have to present, okay? I usually have to present information to government entities. Okay, great. You did a really good job. Okay, there we go. Thank you very much, Delmi. Now, Alba, please share with us. What do you have to do at your in your job? Mm -hmm. Yes, we can see it. Okay. Can everybody see it? Hello, my name is Alba Lopez. I work for a loyalty company. I am a fraud support agent. Every day I have to make reports. Creo que se me fue la... I usually answer emails. Acá también es to the customer and need to detect frauds and stop them. In the afternoon, I often call the customer to confirm information about the transaction they do. On Tuesday, I have a general meeting with my team and there is an important on October 30th. 30, 30. The 30th. Okay. 30th. 30th. Mm -hmm. Good, Alba. Excellent. You explained all your activities and you did a really good summary here. Okay. This is, imp this is impressive. Okay. Let's see. Um, well, I have to make reports. Good. Uh, I was reading. Okay. And the last one, it said. Sorry. Uh, okay. No, uh, yeah. Uh, pero era solo la última parte. En donde usted puede decir, I have to. Uh, no, era en la, en la penúltima. I have to call customers in the afternoon. I think it is, right? Afternoon. In the afternoon, I have to call customers, right? In the afternoon, I often call the customer to confirm information about the transaction they do. Excellent. It's okay. It's okay. Great. On Wednesday, I have a general meeting with my team, and there is an important on October 
31. Ok, the 30th. Ajá. Uh -huh. <laughs> Dígalo conmigo, say it with me, Alba. 30th. Like this, like this. 30th. 30th. Correct, 30th. correct. Correct, good. 30th, 30th, 30th. 30th. Mm -hmm. Excellent. There we go. Okay, now we want to listen to uh, Luz, please. Si quiere, si. Yes, I can see it. Bye. Hello, my name is Luz Veronica. I work in a teacher manufacturing plant. I am a swimming trainer. Every day I check the attendance. I set the goal for each. Do projection, check the quality, check the production per hour. I have a meeting, it's Wednesday at morning. It is necessary to take capacity every day to measure my results. Okay. I see that you are uh, using just the activities, right? You are using just the activities and some uh, time expressions. Now, how frequently, how frequently do you have um, these capacities that you say over there? This, you say to take capacities every day to measure my results. How often do you do it? ¿Qué tan frecuente toma, o, o qué es lo que quiere decir acá cuando dice to take capacities every day? Check your audio, please. Open your mic. Es como, digamos, hacerlo a diario. Ok, y esas son como evaluaciones. Sí, ajá, como, como, digamos, tomar capacidad es como qué capacidad tiene la gente de, de sacar, digamos, su producción. Oh, ok, ok, now I understand. I, I uh -huh. didn't get it because that's part of your job, right? I didn't know that you, uh, that, ok, that you should do that. But ok, it is necessary. Ok, then, aquí usted podría decir, I need to take. Ok, I need, I to, need to, to take. Excellent. I need to take. Uh -huh. Every day to measure my results. Ok. Uh, Pero es para medir sus resultados o los resultados de ellos. Eh, los míos, ambos. Los ambos. Y los míos. Uh -huh. Entonces, en vez de my results, solo ponga measure results. Ok. Measure. Measure. Le quito my. Ajá, le quita my, porque ahí solo serían suyos. No se sabría a quién le está tomando las capacidades, si a usted o a ellos, ¿verdad? Ah, Entonces, en este caso, it is necessary. Uh, uh, en vez de it is necessary, I need to take. Ahí ya se sabe que usted toma las capacidades y los mide a ellos. Right? Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. There you are. So I need to take capacities every day. Uh -huh. Good. Excellent. Okay. Good. Thank you very much, Luz. Okay. Now, let's see. Um, Nestor, go ahead, please. Open your mic, please. Thank you. Sure. Uh, I was Pero usted está en la are you in, power up. Okay, are, are you in your computer or are you on a phone? No, 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 you. Ah, I am uh, on, on the phone. 
Ah, in the phone. In the okay, then you cannot yes. share the um the yes, board. Yes, I can take a photo and and share. I will try. Okay. 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 Just give me one second. One more second. Okay, then we are yeah. going to try here with Grecia. Grecia, go ahead, please. Uh, okay. Um, creo que in the celular, creo que no lo va a compartir, no lo va a poder compartir. Uh, veamos. Como no. Como no. Excellent. Ajá. Perfect. There you are. There you are. Mm -hmm. First, I need to add the clean of area two, two times a day. I always read it down sample information from the previous day and evaluation test and test of the products one time a day. Every day, I check in on right material during the whole day, okay. the whole day, this depends if they have program receive or right material, this approximate 10, 10, 10 times a day max to finish every day and make copy of the production plan for the next day. Wow, you have a lot of things to do every day. Okay, good. I see. You need uh, so you are in, like a um, supervisor, right? Okay. It says first I need to audit cleanliness of areas. Okay, so you do it two times a day. I am visit two times, puede poner twice, twice a day. Mm -hmm. Twice a day. Mm -hmm. Then I always write down sample information from the previous day and evaluate taste and texture of the product once a day, right? Um, ahí después de always podría utilizar have to, okay? Or need to. I always have to write down sample information, okay? And... Every day I check incoming raw material during the whole day. This depends if they have program. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. Ra raw material is 10 times a day maximum, right? Okay. And then it says to finish every day I make copies. Okay, good. Ahí también puede utilizar, I have to make, okay? I have to make copies. Eso es para okay. utilizarlo como, uh, expresarlo como una obligación, ¿verdad? Como parte de sus funciones, okay? No, ya no solo como la pura actividad, ¿verdad? Sino que ya como una eh, obligación, parte de sus funciones, okay? Okay. Thank you very much, Gracia. You did a good job here, okay? So now let's listen to, uh, let's see, Cecia, are you ready? Okay, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Yo no hice la presentación, pero aquí la tengo en Word. Okay. Uh, no sé si les aparece. Yes, we can see it. Uh, okay. I can see it. Mm -hmm. okay. So long. Okay. Hello, my name is Cecia Perez. I'm a credit analyst. I usually work 
outside of the office. Every day I visit clients of the company. I'm always in communication with potential clients, answering their phone call or visiting their businesses. Generally, I attend client meetings in the afternoon and not so often in the morning. I go to the office two days a week to attend meetings with my bosses. Excellent. You did a really good job writing this. And if you see, guys, look, here she is using uh, some... Uh, we could say specific or a different language, okay? okay? Si se fijan, aquí ella está poniendo el nombre de la actividad, okay? Como answering, ven? Con una ING, y está correcto, okay? Then, visiting, miren? Visiting, lo vamos a ver más adelante, esta forma de usar los verbos en gerundio, ¿verdad? Eh, at the moment, she has done a very good job here. Okay. Lo que faltó tal vez acá, eh, Cecia, es have to and need to, right? Pero está muy bien redactado. Okay. It's okay. really, uh, it has a very good grammar here. Okay. okay. So yeah. thank you very much. And remember to practice talking about obligations and needs, right? to use need to and have to, okay? Okay. Okay, thank you, Cecia. Now let's see, we want to listen to Daisy now. Sure, I will try to, I will try uh, now it's, to... it's Daisy now, okay? After Daisy, okay. You, you go after Daisy, okay. 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 <clears throat> Entonces, ¿se puede ver la pantalla? Yes. Yes, I can see it. Uh, hello, my name is Daisy Sanchez. I work in an office. I'm an accountant analyst. I always check email in the morning. I have to file out the reports to raise taxes in the first 10 business days of each month. After that, I have to turn the accounting of each assigned company. Okay, good, good, good. Uh, and it's a really nice presentation. Okay, this slide is, this slide is uh, very nice. Okay, very attractive. Let's see, Daisy, here you say, um, okay, my name is Daisy Sanchez. I work in an office. I'm an accountant and an analyst. I always, I put it, have to check email in the morning, okay? If it is an obligation, okay? If it is an obligation uh, from your work, okay? If not, it is okay. I have to fill out, okay? Fill out. Ahí no es file. Yes. Si decimos file, yes. es como ah, archivar. Es archivo. Uh -huh. sí, tiene razón. Okay, entonces fill, fill out. out es llenar. Ajá, uh -huh. llenar. Okay. Okay, have to fill out the reports to raise taxes and the first 10 business days of each month. Excellent. After that, I have to, aquí, en este caso, no podemos usar el ING, tiene, tiene que ser prepare, okay? Prepare. I have to prepare, porque tenemos have to aquí, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Okay, I have to prepare the accounting of each as assigned companies. In este caso, you prepare accounting reports or what do you prepare? Accounting information or accounting data? En la contabilidad. O sea, okay. Yo ingreso la contabilidad para que los hagan los reportes. Oh, okay then. I have to prepare, okay. Puede ser the accounting information, right? The accounting okay. information of each assigned companies. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Excellent. You did a good job here, Daisy. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Now let's listen to Nestor. Go ahead, Nestor. Okay.
Okay, can you see? Yes, yes, we can see okay. it. Okay, let me, let me explain. Mm -hmm. uh, my day uh, work routine. Uh, first of all, I am a select man from Santa Catarina, Masawat, Mayoralty, Sonsonate. I live, I'm from Sonsonate. Okay. Uh, well, I live in, in a little, in a little town. So in my job, I need to arrange agenda because um, we, our salary is, is coming from the meetings. We have four meetings um, a month. So um, I need to arrange an agenda, mm -hmm. but the other, but other than that, mm -hmm. I also work as social network administrator. Oh, okay. And I have to start to work at eight, eight o'clock a.m. Mm -hmm. And the first activity that I have to do is check the social networks, network, networks. Then. If I need to take a photography, I do. To after that, I have to I upload in Facebook and Instagram. Finally, need to I need to do different type of advertising designs. Mm -hmm. In fact, lately I did an advertising designs of uh, back vaccination. No, it's vaccination day against COVID-19. Oh, okay. So that are all my activities, the activities that I do in my work. Okay, good, good. This is a uh, very social, right? Your, your, um, your job has very social, uh, we could say, approach to people right does this approach oh, to yeah, people yeah, yeah. okay yes yeah All good the time we're, uh, we're, this is very yeah. interesting it's really interesting your job good you know, what is, says, uh, i need to right? but it says i need to take a photography you can use algo más menos formal um you you could say i need to take a okay. picture okay picture, picture. okay uh -huh. I need to take, uh, and now you know, I need to take a selfie, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So do you know what is that? What is select men, right? Uh, and, actually, no. I'm trying to find out that. Um, el consejo. Okay. Uh, de, de una yeah, you said uh, a ma mayority. Uh -huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Select men. Okay, nice. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. It's really interesting. And well, okay. here we have a select man, guys. Okay, if you need. <laughs> okay, good. So you work in campaigns for people and you work for the people, right? Okay. Yes, I work Excellent. for the people. Yes. Excellent. Um, here I give a good uh, service. Okay. You know, um, I'm working uh, uh, because, because of uh, they... Uh, uh, how do you say? They, they, just, they just me apoyaron in my project. In my yes, project. They, they, they supported uh, me. They supported yeah, yeah. me. They supported me. Okay. My project. Yes. Very good. Very good. So you have a lot of good ideas for them. So if they uh, oh sure, that, sure, right. sure. Okay. Yes. excellent, yes. excellent. And I see I need to do different types of advertising designs, but that's from your own or from the mayor office. Yes, sir. that's what I, I I write in the in my uh, work routine. That lately I did a um, advertising design about the. The vaccination. vaccination. Uh, okay. So you had a yes. campaign without the appointment, right? You had yes. one without the appointment that they went to With each town to do it. Road. Well, uh, the people don't have it is in, they don't have to to make an appointment. Uh, yeah, because, because uh, they have like a campaign, uh, right? They go to your yeah, place. Yes, yes. yes. Okay, that, good. That is, uh, vaccination day. Yeah, it's a campaign. Yes. 
Oh, yeah. excellent, excellent. This is really, really interesting. And congratulations, you are doing a lot for your people and this is amazing. This is amazing. Uh, okay, thank great. You. Thank, you. thank you very much for sharing with us your activities. It's really interesting. Uh, okay. No problem. no problem. Thank you. It's okay. Go ahead. No. Now let's continue, guys. A ver, todos en, uh, captamos acá, ¿verdad? Uh, you had a lot, I mean, I'm sorry, you have to do a lot of activities in your jobs. And when you talk about your activities, you have to feel, right? You have to yeah. feel. And usually, for example, Daisy, Patricia, Alba, Luz, you feel Teacher. out. Um, Teacher. Uh -huh. Teacher, in fact, uh, right now I'm in my office. Uh, and that's what we uh, can see uh -huh. yeah. so you don't yeah. have leave time either yeah <laughs> you have yeah. no yeah. you have no schedule i mean you have the no, entrance no, time schedule no no okay. because they pay me just for the meetings four meetings a month for, okay yes. okay so i don't have a schedule okay so you yeah. uh but you dedicate all the time that you have well, for I, your I, people we right? work with uh protection civil so okay. they, we have to work all at midnight. Oh, so you are, part, you are part you are part of the committee. Yes, are you yeah. part of the committee? Okay. Good. Yeah. Good. Guys, this is very interesting. And I heard you uh sharing all the activities that you do in your jobs. For example, Daisy, Patricia, Alba, Luz. And I see and I feel that you enjoyed your jobs. I really enjoyed listening to you all. Okay, let's try to hear Linda. Linda, are you ready? Yes. Okay, go ahead, Linda, please. Okay. Let's listen to Linda, everyone. Yeah. Yes, we can see. It. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Okay. Um, hello, my name is Linda. I work in a customer service only chat. Sometimes I have to check social network and answer comments or DM. I get up very early in the morning. I log on my to my job at 6 a.m. I work home office via the pandemic. My lunch hour is different every day. I log off in the afternoon at 2 p.m. and finish my shift. I have training once a week to the update the process. Excellent. This is really interesting too. You see, uh, because you are always writing, right? You are always typing. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I can see here you say I have to very check. fast typing. Okay, good. Yeah, good. I, I have I have one minute uh for the first uh, answer. Oh my God, okay. Uh, well, in that case, we don't say answer, we say reply, okay? Uh, uh, we say reply the DMs or reply the comments, okay? In vez de answer, porque answer sería answer the phone or answer uh, person to person, right? Podríamos decir en reply, okay? Reply is R E P L Y. Sería así. R E, yes, P L Y. Correct. Mm -hmm. Reply. Reply. Okay. okay. Excellent comment. I get up very early in the morning and log on to my I work. Okay, it's okay to say I work home office, and also you can say I have to do or I do I do home office. Oh, I'm sorry. I do home office. Okay. I can't hear you very well. I can. Office, by the pandemic here you have to pronounce this by the pandemic by the pandemic by 
the pandemic. Okay, Linda? Um, para pronunciarlo. No, no, para pronunciarlo. By the uh, pandemic. By the pandemic. Correct. Okay, okay, great. Thank you very much for sharing your activities, Linda. Gracias. Thank you very much. Thank you. you can stop sharing now. Okay. Eh, tenemos Roxana. Only Roxana and... Okay, go ahead, Roxana, please. Uh, solo voy a hacer una pregunta. Melida, eh, ¿va, a hacer, ¿va a hacer presentación hoy o la hace mañana? Melida? Please open your, your mic and tell me. Es porque no ha podido ponerse al día, okay? Okay, okay, Melida. Then we are going to listen to Roxana and Mayra and then we finish, right? Uh-huh, okay. Go ahead, please, Roxana. Okay. Uh, Pueden verla. Sí. Yes. <laughs> okay. Hello, my name is Marilyn Ortiz. I work as a teacher in private school. Every day I do planning for each class, and usually I upload materials and activities to the school platform. I, I was making sure the students do their activities and always answer any question they may have. I usually have three hours in the afternoon in which I've often made advancing in planning of their activities. We have to make sure and the students are well and they, they comply with their homework and how before leaving work. We have to meet to discuss some important things. Excellent, excellent. This is a very hard job, okay? She's a teacher, right? So imagine, yeah. this is a very hard job. And I see that you did um, a very, um, we could say, a detailed process here. You detailed all the activities. Thank you very much for doing it. Because uh, aquí sí, ya vimos que un maestro, uff, hace una, hace otra, y otra, y otra, y otra. Excellent. You did a good Master. job. Yeah, and you work not only with the kids, I think you work with the parents, right? <laughs> yeah, yes. so yes, I can see. And also, uh, tal vez cuando dice they comply with their homework. Um, uh -huh. Okay, uh, para que ellos puedan cumplir, ¿verdad? Para que ellos cumplan con su uh -huh. tarea. Um, tal vez podría ser and they... Uh, they need to complete, podríamos decirlo para utilizar no, no, need to, no, but it is they, excellent. No puedo la ley. It they is excellent. They complete. Mm -hmm. They need to complete okay. their homework. Okay. They need to they complete. Need, they complete. Completar. The mm -hmm. Finalizar, okay. completar. Correct, complete there. Okay, homework. thank you, teacher. Okay, thank you very much for sharing, uh, Marilyn. And now we are going to hear Mayra. You are going to be the last one tonight. You ready? Creo que su micrófono también lo tiene que revisar Hola. Maya hoy. Oh, okay. Now, yes. We can hear you. Eh, no puede hacer la presentación, teacher. Okay. But you can tell us. 
No la entiendo. ¿Nos la puede decir? Ah, ok. I, I am Mayra Alfaro. I'm working in the company. My position is assistant administration. Some activities in the morning always uh, have to check in May. Check uh, correspondenza, correspondenza, correspondenza. Uh, I am correspondence, in correspondence, uh -huh. Correspond, correspondence. Dense, uh -huh. Correspondence. Uh, I use, uh, usually uh, need to make bank transaction. Okay. Um, uh, ¿Cómo se dice todo esto por la mañana? Eh, eso es durante la mañana. Entonces sería during, during the morning. morning. Yes. During the morning. Yes. Eh, lunch. Eh, después de lunch. Ay, no sé cómo se dice. After lunch. After lunch. Vea. And the afternoon eh, completes failures on the clients. Eh, and normally nature, nature, Call customer for requisite documents and check payment. Uh, usually, a uh, heavy to uh, visit client during okay. the weekend. Okay. Week, durante la semana. Okay. Eso thank... es lo, lo más importante. Nada okay. más que hago durante, durante la semana. That you have to do. Okay. Uh, Mayra, do you mind if Diga. you write it down and tomorrow you share it in a presentation sí. to us? Okay. Para mañana háganos la presentación. Okay. Quedaría sí. usted y Melida. Okay. Ustedes dos me van a hacer la presentación mañana. Okay. Here okay, we okay. go. I'm going to take yes. the attendance, guys. Tengo la eh, available, la session one on one, porque Juan Diego no se conectó el día de hoy. Así que si alguien quiere quedarse conmigo para hacer alguna pregunta, con todo gusto, con todo gusto lo recibo. Let me take the attendance here. Okay. Alba Janet Lopez Avalos. Present. Cecia Gemima Pérez Ideos. Present. David Alejandro Choto Martínez. Present. Eh, Debbie Stephanie Ramos Ramos. Delmi Isabel Dera Salguero. Present. Uh, Daisy Carolina Sánchez Nieto. Present. Eva Leticia Contreras Argueta. Grecia Tatiana Rosales Campos. Present. Juan Diego López Palacios. Linda Alicia Valladares Argueta. Present. Luz Verónica Trujillo de Urbina. Present. Marco Adonai Villeda Alvarado. Mayra Yanira Alfaro Posada. Present teacher. Melida Isabel Bonilla Ventura. Ok. Eh, Néstor Ariel Garzón Asensio. Present teacher. Ok. Um, Pablo Alberto Magaña Molina. Present teacher. Patricia Eugenia Navarro de Rosales. Present teacher. Roxana Marilín Pérez Ortiz. Present. Okay. Who wants to stay with me after this class? Is there anyone interested in staying with me to ask questions? No, not today. Okay, then guys, is there any question about this? Uh, the class or the content of today? No? Okay, then, guys, remember, please, right now, ahorita que se van a salir, 
por favor, las tareas hasta la número 10 en la plataforma y el examen intermedio, por favor. Ok, everybody, have a good night and have a good rest. Good night, teacher. Good, good night. night. Good night, everybody. Delmi, are you there? Tell me. Okay. <laughs>